Hello, this is Drake of Blame 67 and welcome to another installment in Mandatory Mook Mania. Uh, this time we are fighting two fire elements. Now, this enemy is, uh, is not particularly notable other than we have to fight two of them when you first enter the tree at ruins. Uh, in the first, on your, in the first playthrough, this is the fight where, uh, Kro where Kratos teaches Lloyd, Colette, Genus, and Rain, uh, Guardian, or the equivalent move. Uh, it's not an especially difficult fight, but I do want to show it off, uh, particularly because it's weak to water and ice. And that's a common theme among, uh, many of the many of the enemies in the in the Seal of Fire. Uh, and on a first time playthrough, you won't be able to, you probably won't take advantage of the weakness to ice, because uh, you'll probably be done with this dungeon before Genex learns Icicle at level 11. Uh, but you probably will take advantage of the weakness to water, and we'll talk about that when we get to the next, to uh, the next boss. Um, but for now, uh, we can take advantage of the weakness to ice here, which is why I have Genus in the party right now. Uh, uh, and uh, I guess I want to take a moment to talk about um, how I generally uh, approach uh, my X skills during uh, regular encounters, um, because this is basically a regular encounter. It's not like the like the design ambush and treant. Right, you have a full party of four. Uh, there's only two enemies. It won't be a big deal. Um, and for these regular fights, uh, I generally have X skill setups that give uh, my characters more uh, health or TP. Uh, which is why Rain is in the party and not Kratos. Kratos, I don't have life up or spirit up on him, while all the other characters uh, characters are set up to be able to uh, have a uh, life up or spirit, life up and or spirit up. Uh, I made use of uh, the, these particular combat X skills a lot in the minimum battles run because I had to to get more health and TP. Um, but in this mania mode, uh, in this mania mode boss tour, uh, um, I, I found that sometimes I need uh, other X skill setups, and I can't, uh, and sometimes I need to take off Eternal, uh, so I don't have uh, a Spirit Up uh, or Life Up in those, uh, in those fights. But I do still generally have them during, uh, the, during the regular fights uh, in between bosses, uh, which is why I have two level 3 X gems on Void, because Eternal and Spirit are both level 3. Colette, I gave, uh, I gave her one of my X gem maxes on, on this playthrough. Uh, this used to be a level one, but now it's a max and it can be anything. So now I can use uh, Spirit, uh, Vitality, and Eternal, uh, and that will give Spirit up and Life up, so she can get more HP or and or TP at the end of every battle. And. And just mentioning, uh, Spirit is a... Yeah, Spirit is a level 3 for Colette as well. Uh, Genus and Rain, Spirit is a level 2. You'll notice Spirit is level 2 for Rain. Uh, it's also a level 2 for Genus, who again, I gave an X-Gen Max for. So I could have uh, either Tough or Spirit here, depending on, uh, depending on the needs of the fight. Uh, I'll also talk about Rain's X skill setup because you're probably um, you might not see Rain uh, for a few fights. Well, actually, it's not the deal. Uh, no, Rain, Rain will be Rain will be around for a few fights, but uh, uh, but the uh, but the X skill setup that I have for her right now. Uh, Again, for regular encounters, Spirit and Eternal is Spirit up, 
and uh, technical is item pro and spirit, which reduces TP cost. And I think that's going to be, uh, and that's important if you're getting into a lot of fights. Uh, and it's and in, in boss fights coming up too, because uh, not only does uh, not only does Rain have less cooldown after using items, uh, she also caught her healing spells also cost less TP uh, in general. Uh, so unlike Genus, you don't have to spam, you don't have to cast uh, the same spell multiple times like a reducer, uh, which Genus does not have right now because she, uh, he needs rhythm for it. Uh, anyway, as for approaching the fight itself, uh, I have uh, Icicle uh, for... Uh, instead of Aqua Edge, I have Icicle on left trigger for Genus' spell. Uh, because... yeah, I still have him on hold position. Uh, as for Tex, uh, Rain, I'm uh, letting her use... Uh, whatever, for now. Uh, again, I just wanted to uh, take a moment to talk about next skills for regular fights, because uh, those regular fights getting uh, for spirit up and, and life up are why uh, my character's TP values are so high. Because uh, normally at this level, Lloyd's TP is uh, nowhere close to 82. We look at uh, we were looking to load at the normal playthrough. His uh, uh, this is right before the Seal of Fire boss, and Lloyd's level nine here. TP is sixty one uh, at level nine. This Lloyd has eighty two TP at level eight. Uh, anyway, I think that's all the strategy I want to talk about. So we're going to enter the fight. Yeah. What's wrong, Noish? Be on your guard. There are enemies about. wasn't really anything special, but again, uh, Icicle, super effective on enemies in this dungeon. And that, uh, and that weakness to ice might come up in the boss fight. Who knows? Stay tuned for, uh, the next installment in the Tales of Symphonia boss tour remaster. Uh, this has been Drake of Flame 67 with mandatory mania. See you next time.